I bought a scooter. So yes, it is true, I did get a new scooter. So I got a 2018 Kimco like 150i. So that means it's a 150cc scooter, which means you do need your motorcycle license to drive it. And fun fact, but I do have my motorcycle license. So my family is super big into motorcycles and I got my license when I was a senior in high school. So I was thinking maybe one day I wanted to get my motorcycle license or potentially get a scooter because I always just wanted to live by the beach and have a pink scooter, but I don't have a pink one and I don't really live that close to the beach, but I did get a scooter. Yeah, pretty much what happened was I was prowling on Facebook Marketplace and I don't know, I think it just like popped up on my feed, either a motorcycle or a scooter popped up and it got me thinking like, hey, let me start looking for scooters just in case, you know, like in the next year or two, I might want to get one. So then I started just searching up scooters like almost every single day. I was like, oh, I'm just browsing. And so I found this scooter and it actually was posted for $1,800, which was a good price for how much mileage had on it. So it had 1,200 miles on it and it was in like really good condition. And this was a good brand and the size of the engine was something I was looking for. So I wanted either 125 or 150 CC. So I messaged the guy and I offered him $1,600 and he said yes. So I wanted to jump on that really quickly before someone else got to it. So that very night I ended up getting it and taking it home. So that's how I got my scooter and it's only been about like two, not even two weeks since having it, but pretty much I want it for like local use. Like I don't really want to go on the freeway or anything like that with it. Um, although it does go up to 65 miles per hour and I think it could like even push that because I saw some people on YouTube doing like 95 on one of these. Uh, but yeah, I would not even feel comfortable going that fast, honestly. And the gas mileage is, it's kind of like different. It's like a car, it like ranges, but it's between like 85 to like 95 miles per gallon, which is super good, which is another like reason that I justified it in my head of getting one. I mean, have you seen the gas prices these days? Like I said, I'm just using it locally and I don't really drive much either because I work from home. So I'll kind of like take it to the grocery store, take it to go to a restaurant, uh, to go skating. Uh, I can actually fit my skates in here, so I'll show you like what it looks like on the inside. So other specs, it does have ABS braking, so that is great. And it can also fit two people and it even has little pegs for the back passenger's feet to go on. So I do have some plans for future mods that I want to do to my scooter. Um, nothing major, nothing too crazy, but be expecting some videos from me because I will be showing that. Uh, so first, I do need to change the oil soon. That's not really a mod, but I have to do that soon. Um, next, I want to add on, it's like a little case on the back and it'll be able to fit my helmet in it because I'll show you guys, but I actually can't fit my full face helmet under the seat, which I was really hoping that I could, but unfortunately it doesn't fit. So yeah, I think just having extra storage on the back would be great. And then the other thing I really want to do is add LED lights underneath. So just like underneath the where the wheels would be down here and there. I think if I could get some like pink LED lights, that would be super cool. Um, so as far as right now, that's kind of the only thing that I really want to do. So now I'll show you guys some equipment that I got for my scooter. So I got this jacket on Facebook Marketplace and it's a built motorcycle jacket. So it has like all the padding in it, elbow pads, shoulder pads. It even has it on the back. And I, this was like $90 usually, but I got it for $30. So this was a steal and it keeps me nice and cozy, warm. Next, I got this helmet, which is also a built helmet on Poshmark. So this one I think ran for, I think it was over $100, but I got this one for $50 on Poshmark and I really wanted a pink helmet and I literally was like prowling Facebook Marketplace, Afra, Mercari, uh, Poshmark. I had to re-download Poshmark just to buy this helmet. But yeah, I was on like every single reselling app. I could not find one that first of all fit my head because I have a size large head 
And like all the women's ones were like size small and like extra small. But yeah, I got a pretty big noggin. So I finally found <laughs> a pink large helmet and this thing was like pretty much like brand new. And then I'll enter some like clips here, but uh, I like stickered it and then my boyfriend stickered his too. And yeah, I'm glad I finally found a use for all my stickers because I just had so many special ones like hanging around, but I never like had anything important enough to put them on. So pretty much just put them all on this. And then next, so I got the Fox Dirt Paw gloves. And I know these are dirt biking gloves and not motorcycle gloves. Uh, so they do offer less protection because they don't have like the hard things on the knuckles. But this is what my brother uses when he goes on his motorcycle. And I just grew up wearing these. I just like how light they are, but they still keep your hands warm enough. And yeah, they're just flexible. So this is what I have right now. Maybe I'll get some that are more protective in the future. And I also, when I'm riding, do usually try to wear my boots. So like fully laced boots. Right now I'm just wearing Converse. Yeah. So I did also get the quad lock phone case. So when I bought this scooter, the guy who sold it to me already had the stand on it. So I just had to get the phone case. And so far I'm really loving it. I was nervous at first cause I saw like a few bad reviews and those just always spook me away. But so far I have had no issues whatsoever. And it's very useful for someone like me who never knows where she's going. So now I can actually like get directions and stuff. I forgot to talk about this, so I'm gonna enter some footage here about what I used to film some shots on my scooter. So I have an Insta360 ONE R camera and I really want to use it more. And now that I have a scooter, I feel like this is a good reason to. So I kind of made this jig because they do have like a unicorn stand for motorcycle riders. So it like sticks off the helmet more. So this is the Insta360 Unicorn helmet mount and I have the Insta360 ONE R. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this yet. I might get it in the future. But I kind of just made my own for now, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna set this up and then we'll see what kind of footage we can get with this on my helmet. So yeah, that's all my gear so far. All right, it's getting kind of chilly out here, so I'm gonna take her for a spin and go on home. See you guys. Yeah.